high sometimes you might design a component that needs a belt and i will illustrate how to create this belt in onshape okay uh, let me just hide the present belt assume these are the pulleys this part this part assume these are pulleys let me just give them uh, an appearance for ease of visibility this one is supposed to rotate using a belt how do you go about it you just go to the use this belt here you can see once you select you hover at the belt you can see some some documentation here therefore for the pulley faces is this face i want my belt to pass through this face remember the order is very important with maybe i want to use 15 thickness of 2 mm okay okay let me first four eliminate the first last two then you need a midi plane to select so that you need to define a midi plane by which you are by which to define the thickness this thickness will be defined from the midi plane therefore i have this plane already created here plane p1 otherwise you can create your plane from this point to this point your plane p2 this is the midi mid plane that i'm going to use here like that this plane you can see a belt is formed but i want this face to go the other way you can see here just use flipped pulley face and select this face like that if you want it to go aloud like that okay that's how you form a belt you design a belt in context of the part studio assuming now maybe you have an assembly and you want to create your your belt using different parts Like right now i'm using the same part studio assume now you have different parts from different documents like that uh let me just let me just hide this belt here another one here assume we need a belt here assume these parts they are from different parts studio this one may be from a certain document this one from another document how can you do that in an assembly you just select create part studio in context we want to design a new part in context of the assembly you have to select origin of the new part let's use the main origin for the for the part now i get a new part studio but the assembly is ghosted so that i can reference now you can see these are the parts i'm referencing they are already ghosted one thing i need is to create a plane remember we need a midi plane this face to this face that's plane. can see this one this one means we are designing the part in context of the assembly therefore you select your belt pull it face this face this face this face this face then midi plane this plane flipped face this face to be flipped like that can assign appearance for ease of visibility then you can insert and go to assembly okay you can rename this part okay if you want to edit just go to part one edit context one let me rename this context as my belt 
context like that then I want to change with maybe to 10 a thickness of 1 like that and go back to assembly this method is better because once you change maybe if you change one item it doesn't update unless you update like that you can see the belt doesn't update but there's this small circle that means we need to update context to update to the new position okay if you go back to the part studio we have this if i move this one here if I, if you change the position of this it updates automatically let's go here edit let's see let me dimension from this point to this point as uh, ad you see the belt updates automatically that's the difference between part studio and designing a part in context therefore if I update here update it goes to the new position okay yeah then go to the new position that's how you create belts in onship thank you stay tuned for more